When I was little, I loved to sew. I wasn't great at it, but I loved it. I made toys for friends and family, even trying to sell some to the neighbors with all the entrepreneurial spirit that all little kids seem to have when they're discovering something new to make. One day, though, I whipped up something special that looked different from the dolls I'd made before. And though he wasn't as colorful and creative as some of the other ones, he felt important to me for some reason. This little doll needed a name, though, and the little supernatural loving child in me thought that the best way of doing that would be to get my best friend and my little sister and ask our spellboard. One way or another, the planchette spelled out a name, Requiem. That was it. The spirits had spoken, and now I had a little handmade doll called Requiem. A bit of an eerie-sounding start for the little doll, but he was mine, and he was special. Eventually I got it into my head that this doll was a good luck charm and a dream protector, so I took him everywhere and made sure he was right there on my pillow at night. For a long time, Requiem was almost always in my pocket. No matter where I went, he was with me. Eventually, though, he went from pocket, to book bag, to locker, and then to staying home on my bed. But Requiem never lost his importance, and never lost his place on my bed. I may be off in college now, but he's still with me, protecting my dreams and aspirations even while I'm moving on to a different stage of life.